G'day, let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 as the German Sunflowers. So we're focusing on South America, uh, finally through Amazonas. So, guys will filter out of there into the forward lines, which means the rest of this should go exceptionally quickly. So for some reason, this guy not really is supposed to keep moving on. Alright, research is... This is going to be down the uh, artillery path. We have now 700 factories. A lot of them from occupation, of course. Okay. Punched through him so quickly, we've gone on to the next province before he's actually realised what we've done. Then we're going to head down to the port and take a new port. Head down to the port. Make sure we grab all of the coast on the way to Rio de Janeiro. <clears throat> Looks like we've broken his back, he's got nobody defending his front line. And down here in Bolivia, we're about to take his capital. Uh, we did grab a bunch of uh, Peruvian uh, expeditionary forces as well, so that's most of these guys on this front line. Insufficient oil, we don't care right now. It's on South America and Brazil zones. Yep, getting a bit low, Bolivia's capitulated, nice. So he's got a few Brazilian holdouts in his territory. Just pull them in there. Looks like somebody is heading towards that. In Peru, we have done all the work here, so give us La Paz. Mm, apparently not. And they're only allowed to hold 99.6% of the territory. Alright, Paraguay are communist, so we're not going to touch them. Might do... Uruguay next if we can finish off Brazil quickly which is probably going to happen so let's go justify conquering Uruguay and from there we'll head on to Argentina so Peru and Venezuela are our buddies Ecuador is democratic so let's declare war on him and then Panama has the American port there, so we'll uh, push up through them. There's our Hornis. 44 is way too far ahead of time. That is 43, so it's just as bad. Engineering, that's uh, too far ahead of time, except for a 5% reduction. More free military factories. Don't actually have free factories. Let's turn these off. Um, we've got all of this to do repairs to, so we can just ignore that for quite a while. Okay. There is apparently only one guy in Cartagena. We can grab his port there, that would be amazing. Ready to go on Uruguay. And that was weapons three. Let's grab support weapons four. All right, good on Ecuador. Nobody on the front line, but there are people next to, uh, next door. So let's go declaring on them. And then these guys should be more than enough. Uh, Quito and there. They're not going to understand what to do, so we'll just send them there and tell them to start. And then wait until the war's actually started and head through there to there. <clears throat> so he has only five divisions, three of the two down there. 45 more factories in very little time. That would be uh, the Brazilian. Yeah, look at him fall. There we go. Capitulation. Uruguay, we immediately declare on. Grab a couple of these guys. Head down there. And can take Montevideo. Something like that. Uruguay merges our wars. Uh, 
Alright, apparently Venezuela don't want this land, so they're happy to start giving it to us. Alright, next better artillery. We will keep um, the artillery we're currently making because... Where is it? Um, because we aren't even ahead of time to do number three, so we just push through that until we get there. Alright, Uruguay didn't take too long. Which means Argentina, we should have already started on. Just by conquering Mesopotamia. These guys come over here and this capital was there, so let's just move somewhere along there. We'll surround Paraguay. And yeah, didn't think we'd be able to do much against them. Ecuador's gone. So South America is looking a lot friendlier for us. Allies in the north, Axis in the south, neutral in the centre. Not for long. And he's holding out on the Galapagos. So the next question would be, does he have any troops on the Galapagos? He does not. So if we grab one tank, we wouldn't be able to do a naval invasion. Give him a try. But I don't see any way that we're going to get naval supremacy over there. Japan is called Peru as our ally. Who the hell? One of these idiots called them in. Alright. As long as we don't get pulled into a war against the Soviets. Alright. <clears throat> Are we still high up on this? 96.8. Because Venezuela, Japan, Italy all think they're doing something. Looks like we can defend against the Dutch. We can defend against the Americans. This offense is not going to happen. Alright. Argentina. Let's declare war. They should move in pretty well. Um, we have nothing over there. Paraguay, a bit of a roadblock there, so that'll work out. Okay, we shouldn't have any real problems here. We're already heading down to Buenos Aires. Need to get him down to 80. Do we want Italian troops? 118 Italians. Well, we capped out on political power. We have zero manpower, but sure, we'll accept them. And don't want to go service by requirement, but I guess we have to. Another 4 million manpower should last us. We're not going to have any more attrition, hopefully. So all these are getting supplied through Amazonas now that we've boosted the uh, infrastructure up there. Now it goes Colombia. Nice. So let's start justifying on Panama. We'll do do Costa Rica now actually. Justify conquering Costa Rica. And then is Nicaragua. Uh, some of these guys let's say roughly this many will come and join this front. Only capable of going to there. Until the war starts, then we can uh, redirect that. Alright, everybody else down here. We need to get ready for a war on Chile. We'll start it with this guys, and then uh, they're going to want to head around something like that. Argentina will fall really quickly, so might as well start justifying conquering Antofagasta. And the US is fabricating on us. It really doesn't bother us. That'll be his uh, focus of anti-fascism, whatever. Right, let's grab these guys, put them on the Chilean border. And, you know, conquer 
everything in that skinny little country. Alright, they are reorganizing properly. Now, Chile holds out against the Americans sometimes. It's not going to hold out against us. And that is a fascist South America. But again, we'll hold off on Paraguay because he'd probably join the common turn and they'd overrun us before we could do anything. At some point, we have to go and find these Italian troops. Just grab four until we know where they are. Alright, looks like most of them are in Italy. Grab them, and them, and them. That's 94 of them. Uh, put them... You know what? Let's give them the Soviets. No, not them. Okay. So add them to this 105. But give them this. Attach them there. And send them to Leningrad, Moscow. If we go to war, then do that immediately. Now, the other thing is we already have a front up through Finland. So we've actually got one, two... Three, four fronts with the Soviets. Xinjiang isn't in the common turn yet. Alright. How are we looking up there? Colombia's still barely holding out. Looks like hey, there's finally some New Zealanders. Uh, they're not going to last long. Supply here is close, so we'll leave it as is. Yeah, he's trying to do that naval invasion. Lack sufficient intel, which really just means send us some fighters. And we've put them into Peruvian coast, doing air superiority. They don't arrive until 12th of March, it's only four days. Uh, could put some more guys out here as well, just in case we don't have enough. Alright, these guys can't reach Peruvian Coast. Alright, forget that then. Alright, Peruvian Coast. Yeah, we need more. Well, Lima. It's definitely going to be close enough. Deploy them to Peruvian Coast. Do that. And who are we about to go to war with? It would be Chile. No. It would be Panama. And not Nicaragua, Costa Rica. Alright, wars merge. We can invite El Salvador and the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic and El Salvador. Dominican Republic we will invite. El Salvador we will not. And let's keep pushing down the artillery. Uh, the one after this one is the one we're waiting for. Alright, we stand together with the Dominican Republic. And there goes Panama. That didn't take too long. It also means that... I should reset this. Well, actually, set it over here. Just tell them to go there. Alright, kick the British out. El Salvador is a no. Ask to join... No, El Salvador. No, you can see the writing on the wall, but... We will join the Axis, just not as a free party. Alright, conquer Honduras. This might give him the idea. Conquer El Salvador. And we could do other things. We don't need these silent workhorses anymore. Fortification engineer, uh, probably not necessary. Something to help out against the uh, Soviet Union. Infrastructure construction speed. And I guess we'll get the fortification engineer, just in case we want to build forts over there somewhere, for some reason.
Japan called the Dominican Republican. And we might actually be able to do this. One on two, a tank doing a naval landing. Just the breakthrough that we've got. He's got really bad anti-armor attack, heart attack. Alright. Well, these guys apparently failed. Panama didn't control that a second ago, did they? Hmm. Alright, rest of you. Keep going. Uh, river crossing. You luck. Alright, you're going to keep trying that. So we'll leave them to it. That might happen or it might not. Chile. We haven't declared war yet. Alright, this will take no time at all. Alright, support weapons. We need night attack more than we need uh, hard attack. What do we got down here? A little bit of Argentina left. Alright, Chile's capitulated. They're doing their thing. And then they'll all shift probably up shared between these two. We'll be fine there for a bit. Um, that was not Costa Rica, it was Nicaragua. Honduras. And El Salvador who would join because he's hostile towards everyone around him. Well, I guess he was asking for this then, the old fascist. Alright, four wars very quickly get merged down into one. You know, need somebody else helping on the Galapagos too. So, let's grab an infantry. Stick him on this. And we ended up with yeah, 81% naval supremacy over there. What we could do is swap some of them out for close air support. We're not going to. It's like we're losing every night and winning every day. In Venezuela want to send us another 26. Okay, well, there's 22 of them. Let's put them on this. And then a lot of Italians. The United States stands against fascism. That is probably most of the Italians. Let's get them over there. Alright, a few more Venezuelans. We can join in this front. More Italians. They will march up here. And the Regruppamento Celery will come up here as well. That's basically our Italian front there. Don't know how many Soviets on that line, but they'll be fine. Planes, naval bombers, right, let's forget about the naval bombers. Get the manpower back. And we should probably leave some of the Peruvians down surrounding Paraguay. Uh, yeah, if we leave like 30 divisions down there. Alright, this is ridiculous. Kill him. Alright, that is going to run up there. Good. Now, research slot. What just finished? Advanced computing machines gives us decryption. And whatever the other one was that finished, we'll take encryption. Expeditionary forces from Peru and Italy. 167, not bad. Apply from Peru. And no idea where most of them are going to be. The Italians will just be 
all over the place. Looks like that's a ton of them. So send them in there. To Brook. I think they're already mostly on their way up. No, they wouldn't run off somewhere else. He's coming in. Right. Both saying they're unassigned. Sign them both to that one. And the next ones. Oh, this is where I send them onto here. Then we grab them here with an order for Asson Chant. And any of these guys down this way will go and join this front. Battalions go north. Here, go that way. And the last one out on the island. It's a little unreasonable that the Italians would trust us with probably most of their army. that what he's he's got 72 that aren't extraditionary yeah so they get transferred to ours so he's got 72 divisions remaining after the 100 and something 200 that he's given us and New Zealand's trying to invade the Dominican Republic interesting all right tons of guys over there plenty of supply so we don't have to worry about anything here we've actually taken that back Nice. That was with river crossings. So if we hammer on them long enough, we might be able to do something. But I think what we want to do is go to Miranda, get the close air support to help out naval bombers, carrier fighters. Uh, close air support, two. Okay, grab him. Goes there. Does close air support. They have nothing in there, so it should be absolutely fine. And we'll grab the other lot. The close air support will go in there as well. Okay. So when they arrive, well, it doesn't matter, already got superiority. Oh, stop it. Alright, here's defense. Air superiority minus 31%. That'll make a huge difference. And over here, it's the Australians holding the other side of the Panama Canal. No supply in Panama. Yeah, we do have a number of guys there. Which is stupid. Mm, yep, yeah, let's drop them back. Get them out of the supply region. Can't actually drop it down fast enough. Alright. Pull them out. Need to get this down fast so that they can lose their malice they're getting from it. Alright, as soon as they get out. Should be good. These guys don't want to reinforce. Alright, now it's looking right. So we'll get rid of Oof, that river crossing 76 and the train 63 that is terrible but we'll take it eventually uh, what's going on up here they fought us back alright go with tank and an infantry put them on there they go straight away because it's already been planned out because the planning went so well Now they've got no chance. Because half the Allied forces are now in there. Lots of Australians. Alright then. Well, Dominicans have capitulated. That kind of sucks. Why'd they let them get on there? And yes, we will... Put these guys somewhere else. Send them up to the North American front, I guess we can call that. And we'll just delete this. We don't care about it particularly. 
and encryption. Um, less than a year left on that. It's 42, so we can start thinking about some of the other tech. Let's go for our heart attack. Anti-tanks for the American War. And this whole thing up here isn't going as we'd hope. Alright, Kampfgruppe now. The question is, do we want the extra 5% recruitable pop? It'll give us a lot, because we've got 80 million men. But this modern Blitzkrieg, the extra 20% breakthrough there is what we're going to go for. Okay, well, I'm going to take a short break here. So thanks for watching, hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I hope to see you again soon. See you later.